Australia's Prime Minister has insisted he did not soil himself at a McDonald's in 1997 in a bizarre radio interview. Scott Morrison denied the rumor he had an unfortunate mishap at the fast food restaurant in Angadina, southern Sydney, and described the story as an urban myth. The PM said, It's complete and utter rubbish. I found the whole thing incredibly amusing, before he revealed that his team still poke fun at him for it. Radio host Jackie O joked Morrison had only brought the story up to deflect attention from their discussion of Australia's pandemic response. The country is grappling with a rising number of cases, forcing states into repeated lockdowns, and struggling to quickly vaccinate the population. Only 6% of Australian adults are fully vaccinated, compared to 46% in the US and over 50% in the UK. After speaking briefly with hosts Kyle and Jackie O about Australia's worsening COVID-19 crisis, Mr Morrison piped up and said, Hey, can I clear up one thing from ages ago? sounded surprised, and asked, not the Macca's thing. The Macca's thing? It's the biggest urban myth ever, Mr. Morrison laughed. That you pooed your pants at the Angadina McDonald's? Jackie O asked. The Prime Minister said, it's complete and utter rubbish. I found the whole thing incredibly amusing, before he revealed that his team still poke fun at him for it. We've always joked about it amongst our team here as I've driven past it on occasion and someone says, do you want to pop in for a Big Mac? But it is absolute and total rubbish. said, how disappointing. Jackie O joked that he probably only agreed to do the radio interview to clear the situation up, rather than to tell Sydney Siders who have lost work during lockdown that they can claim a $600 Centrelink payment. Mr Morrison continued, some of the funniest yarns are the ones that are true, and I think that's one of them. It comes as Victoria was forced into a snap five-day statewide lockdown to contain a growing outbreak of the COVID-19 Delta variant. The decision came after the state recorded two new cases, bringing its cluster to 18, which was sparked when New South Wallace outbreak was imported into Melbourne by a Sydney removalist working interstate. Meanwhile Sydney health officials said lockdown would be extended for at least another two weeks after cases continued to rise. NSW State Health Minister Brad Hazard said the lockdown would be extended because we haven't been able to get the vaccine that we need. Australia is trailing behind Latvia, Turkey, Mexico and Colombia and even New Zealand, which only uses the Pfizer jab, in vaccine take-up. The slow rollout has heightened fears the highly contagious Delta variant could quickly spread beyond control.
hip-hop artist Joyride dropped the news on Twitter in 2018, following a particularly messy Liberal Party leadership spill. He claimed a number of his friends worked at the store in question and that the situation was pretty bad. Mr. Morrison has dodged questions about the supposed incident that stained his reputation over the last three years, until Thursday. The revelation comes in contrast to a bizarre speech he delivered to journalists, corporate chiefs and his fellow parliamentarians at the Midwinter Ball in Canberra in September 2019. For the first time in the history of the event, all speeches made were on the record, which the nation's leader saw as an opportunity. What really happened at the Angadina McDonald's in 1997? He said to the crowd as they erupted in laughter, eagerly awaiting his next remark. It will remain the mystery of the ages. The Sharks lost the 1997 Super League Grand Final to the Brisbane Broncos, 26-8. In 2018 Joyride tweeted, Scott Morrison sh himself at Hongadina McDonald's after the Sharks lost the GF in 97. The rumors spread far and wide, with data on Google Trends showing a sustained spike in searches for the term Hongadina Maccas. In addition to the digital footprint of the rumors, street artists have documented the alleged incident in murals across the nation. Scott Marsh, an artist known for his political-themed street murals, painted a picture of a concerned-looking Mr. Morrison with the words on Adina McDonald's printed in brown above his head. resurfaced on Reddit, and was captioned Never Forget. But conflicting reports argued the incident may not have occurred after the grand final loss at all. Pedestrian previously theorized the event was more likely to have happened the week prior, when Mr. Morrison's beloved Cronulla Sharks beat the Canberra Raiders to make the grand final. The game was held at Sharks' home ground, meaning it was more likely Mr. Morrison was in the vicinity of Angadina McDonald's at the time. Google reviews of the restaurant include a stream of comments from people alluding to the incident. Went after the football in 1997. It was nice, classic McDonald's aroma, though I remember the floor was a bit slippery, one person wrote. Few dessert options. They have removed the plaques commemorating Scott Morrison's self-defecation at this locale, 